Fans have been clamoring for a long time for Henry Cavill to return to the DC Universe as the Man of Steel. Movie after movie seems to indicate rumors that he would appear, only to lead to disappointment. But now that Black Adam has given some previews, we have some actual confirmation on whether or not he appears in this movie. Not only that, there are additional reports about the future, and I think it's something you might want to know a bit more about. Well, we finally have some good news about Henry Cavill's Superman. It has been years of rotating rumors, and it looks like fans might finally get what they want. We've got multiple new reports to talk about here today, with the first report coming directly from those who have claimed to have seen the film, and then a very interesting follow-up on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's influence on the return of Kal-El. Now, the last time Henry Cavill actually stood in front of a camera and played Superman was way back in 2017. This is the famous Mustache Gate. And since then, every appearance, or at least cameo, of Superman has been kind of funky. He appeared in Shazam, but we never saw his face. And then we also clearly saw the silhouette of Superman in Peacemaker, but once again, no Cavill. Now, starting yesterday, we started getting reports on various social media of people claiming to have seen the movie and seen the post credit scene. So, this is clearly a spoiler, and if you haven't seen the movie yet, you have been warned because this is a pretty big deal. Now, what I'm reading in multiple places is that yes, Henry Cavill does indeed return in this movie for a cameo as Superman, and he directly confronts Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam. Now, like I said, this is in the post credit scene, and not a lot goes down, but what's being reported is that Henry Cavill shows up, tells Black Adam that they need to talk, and it's accompanied by the classic John Williams Superman theme from the Donner films back in the late 70s and early 80s. Now, I think this is great news. First and foremost, it means after years of faceless cameos, Henry Cavill did indeed suit up, went to Warner Brothers, and actually shot new footage as Superman, suggesting maybe the relationship is getting a little bit better. It also is the kind of fan service that I think Warner Brothers Discovery really needs right now. There's a lot of fans out there that aren't too happy with multiple details as it pertains to Warner Brothers Discovery, the merger, and all the shenanigans going on behind the scenes. To give us fans a return of Henry Cavill right now was probably a great idea, although to be fair, we're getting reports it did not come from Warner Brothers Discovery, but from somewhere else. Now, the report we got was from Devin... Now, we are getting some reports over on The Direct, and this is from former editor-in-chief of Birth Movies Death, Devin Ferrazzi. Now, in the story, they drop a pretty big quote, and it does seem to clarify how this happened, and more importantly, why. This is what it had to say. Henry Cavill is appearing in Black Adam in the post credit scene. Henry has returned to Superman in Black Adam because The Rock demanded it. He went hard, full court press on Warner Brothers and made them go to Henry and they had signed a new deal with Henry Cavill, including saying they were going to develop a new Superman movie. It's all because The Rock insisted. Now, I actually think this is the big story, because if this is true, and again, we want to give our classic disclaimer here, it's not from Warner Brothers Discovery or anybody in charge of DC or even Henry Cavill, so take it with a grain of salt. But if it does turn out to be true, it would mean there are some concrete plans for Superman in the future of the DCEU, and we are likely to see Superman again very soon. Now, I don't know how much of a hardcore press he really had to make. Zaslav has made it pretty clear they want to focus on the big heroes, and the simple fact is fans have wanted more of Henry Cavill's Superman for forever, and it just wasn't made to happen by former Warner Brothers management. I also think the fact that Johnson and Cavill are such tight friends, we've seen multiple pictures of the guys together, and not only that, they actually share the same agent in Danny Garcia. This makes a lot of this from a negotiating level much, much easier, and I think it probably was pretty key in getting everybody on the same page once again to get Henry Cavill back in the suit. Now at this point, the rest of us are just waiting to see Black Adam. I don't suspect we will get any more Superman news until after the film has been released. Remember, this came from people that saw early screenings of the movie, and Warner Brothers hasn't made any official confirmation of Superman appearing in this movie or anything else, but the fact that they worked this deal out is a big deal, and me, personally, I'm excited to see Cavill finally return to the Man of Steel. Whether that means a Man of Steel 2 movie or another Justice League movie, we'll have to wait and see. Now, obviously, we cover everything Superman on this channel, so if you want to get all of your sky-high updates, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the news. But until we know more, tell me what you guys think. How happy are you to see Henry Cavill return to the role of Clark Kent in the DCEU? And...
How big of a role do you think The Rock played in getting him to return? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates.